Welcome back to the Dr. Rich channel. We have a uh, permanent resident, uh, Veronica Hernandez, <laughs> here with us again today. Uh, so TikTok is the biggest social media platform on the planet these days, and there's a lot of information and misinformation out there. So we're gonna watch TikTok videos about endometriosis. And stick around to the end to find out what's the number one thing you need to know about endometriosis. Three things people with endometriosis should know. So a lot of helpful advice there. Uh, tea has anti-inflammatory properties like we saw and talked about in the last video. Moving is living. So, you know, the more cardiovascular fitness you get, that's gonna improve your overall health. We did a video on the endometriosis diet that you can check out here, uh, but briefly, a low red meat diet is helpful for reducing the risk of endometriosis. And it actually helps with other things. So red meat's not good and, well, everything in health is not good and in excess. Right. So moderation, I mean, a, you know, a balanced diet, largely plant-based and then grass-fed, not grain-fed red meat. That was a lot. Uh. <laughs> I think in that case, like if you don't mention it or if you come with like the bloating, you go in one day and you say, you know what, I have constipation, bloating, then you think something like IBS, you give them sets, that kind of stuff. But I mean, if you show up with all these symptoms, including the abnormal periods, then you can probably come to that diagnosis, at least from like a primary care kind of view. Right. But that's why, again, I think it's important to follow up with your woman's health every year. I think you have to look at the whole picture. And I think in medicine, a lot of times, there's a tendency to focus on just the one symptom. Mm -hmm. uh, so exactly like you said, if you have painful urination, painful bowel movements, chest pain, and all of these are related to your period, that makes it um, much more likely, if not definitively, endometriosis. Now, these symptoms occur throughout the month with no bearing on the period, you know, it could be one of these other conditions. Mm -hmm. This is actually probably one of the better TikTok videos I've seen because it really does lay out all of the symptoms that you can have that um, are attributed to other conditions but really are just endometriosis. Mm -hmm. So, Sam X Endo, good job. <laughs> and as promised, the one thing that you should know about endometriosis is that it can be anywhere with any different symptoms and if you're not getting the answers that you want, seek a specialist.